everybody, it's Wednesday and that means it's Koopa TV day. I'm really excited about today's guest because it is a service I know you've all been asking for. Today is the e-file pedicure. So get comfortable and we will be back right after this message. Koopa Inc. is excited to introduce two new colors of the Manny Pro Passport, the Mermaid and the Pixie Passports. The Mermaid is inspired by beachy waves and the Pixie is magical and girly. Both limited edition colors are available at two locations. In store at Beauty Page, their address is 11561 Westminster Avenue in Garden Grove, California, or here at Koopa is proud to introduce Koopa Base Coat, a superior adhesive between nail plate and gel products without damage to the natural nail. Also, Koopa High Gloss and Koopa Matte Top Coats. Both are no wipe, excellent sealers, and last two to four weeks. We also have the Trio Pack, which includes both high gloss and matte top coats, and a free base coat. For more information, call us at 1-800-994-5872 or visit us online at www.koopainc.com. Hey everybody and welcome to Koopa TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host today. My name is Elaine Watson and I am the Executive Vice President here at Koopa Incorporated. Normally you're watching Jess, but happy birthday, Jess. She's off today and you guys are stuck with me. I want to start this broadcast off by saying I'm deeply sorry. Today, for some reason, our live broadcast was just not cooperating. And so we're pre-recording this with all of our beautiful camera angles and we will be immediately posting this. So that's why you're seeing it posted late. I am going to skip today's giveaway because you're not live in order to sign up for the giveaway. But I still want to give you all the opportunity to use our weekly promo. This week's promo is KTV55 for 25% off at our website, koopainc.com, or download the app and you can use it on the app. Don't use it that first time because if it's your first time ordering on the app, you get an automatic 25% off for using the app for the first time. Now, I am so excited to introduce our guest for today's show because she is part of Team Koopa. I would like to introduce to you May Van Wy from Hello. My Bling Nail in Korea. May is our partner in Korea, so if you are in Korea or you're moving to Korea, <laughs> May is the Koopa distributor as well as the head of the education, and is a nail tech. <laughs> it's so good to see women in business who actually do nails and have a nail brain who are running the business. You know, it's, really, it's a relief, because you think like a nail tech. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. May um, and I, this will be our third broadcast, bringing you all her pedicure, and I'm gonna say her because I learned this from May, and I think it happens to be absolutely the best pedicure I have ever seen, had in my entire life. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Well deserved. Everybody should give her a clap. Uh, so if you've never used an e-file to do a pedicure, you are going to want to pay close attention. Keep this video favorited. Rewind, pause, and rewatch it because there is going to be so much information about how to use that e-file to perform this amazing pedicure. So without further ado, I want to pass it over. Oh, I haven't even introduced my mom. She's on <laughs> the screen. You all know Sue Henry. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted her in the picture because you have been on the camera long enough and it's just weird to cut her off and have her here. So yeah, Sue Henry is here today as a model because her feet are just as amazing as her hands. And now I will throw it to you, beautiful May. Hi, good to see you again, guys. We did this, I think, exactly a year ago today. I think it's two years ago. Has it been two? Yeah. It had a Christmas tree in it. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the Christmas tree. Yes. So, May, what are you going to do? How are you going to start this, this bad boy pedicure out? Today, I'm going to be using uh, Koopa Money Flow with a pedicure mm -hmm. and callus remover. Yep. And all the bits. And yeah, all the I'm going to show you all the bits that with made out Koopas. Okay, great. Now I will, I will warn the viewers. You know, Sue's feet are as nice as her hands. Jeez. Girl has not got a callus on her foot, and um, I just wanted a really beautiful set of feet and never looked at the bottom, so that's on me. 
But I have some, you know, images that as May is working and we're talking about the techniques to pedicuring, I am going to have call out the numbers of the images and my team's going to throw them up on the screen. So there's a lot to even reading the foot, but we're not there yet. So you go ahead and start with what was your first step being May? Okay. Today I'm going to using a uh, Coupa Manifro. Mermaid. Uh, mermaid is mermaid. a version, new version. I love it. I it's it's so beautiful. I know, it's gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm so glad you wear rubber gloves today because it's really good for CSI. You could leave the thumbprint oh, right this on is, it. This is amazing. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be using a KP55 mm -hmm. that I use, usually using this. May and I both piece. have a fondness for the 55. Yeah. Well, today I bring my own hand piece. Last yeah. time I was using on the company hand piece, yeah. but I was bring mine. But um, every nail tech in America can relate to this. I don't want anybody using my brush. I don't want anybody using, you know, and I don't want to use somebody else's. It really is personal. Even Korea either. Yeah. But really, um, I want to show you this part. So if you can see the serial numbers is starting on 16, that means this machine this, my handpiece is over three years right now, yeah. almost four years. So, but still good. Yeah. So that's why I love you the money flows. Yeah, I I am, but sometimes not because I'm traveling a lot. I always True. bring my uh, handpiece with me, but still good. So mm. these machines are amazing. Powerhouse. I love them. When I'm using, when I'm doing a pedicure, I'm using 55 a lot, yeah. more than 60. Is there a reason why you like the 55 for pedicure? Um, the grips are more, a lot better to me. Okay. And I like the bigger hand piece. I don't know why. I, know, I, do too. I have a small hand, but I like the big hand piece. Yeah, me too. So I like why. the weight of it. It's just a little bit more mm. than the KP60, mm. but for me doing nails, it has more downward pressure from gravity. We don't mm. push down. Have your and back. then also when you do the pedicure, you you using really high RPM, so big hand is more uh, comfortable yeah. and the safety I think. Yeah, holding yeah, it yeah, strong. holding easier. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like it. That's a good tip. Yeah. Let's do the her uh, cuticle care first. Okay. Let's see. So, oh my gosh, she's got a beautiful feet. Mm -hmm. Uh huh beautiful toenails and then when I look at her she don't have a much I know, so. I know, I agree. The first I'm gonna using for cuticle care two different diabetes. Okay. So what's different is if your customer has the big callus you can using a medium. Mm -hmm. And then if your customer has the uh, smoothie callus mm -hmm. then uh, you can using a uh, fine. So the two bits that May is holding, one is the enhancement prepper bit from Kufa, and the other one is the manicure bit, the smoother one. And so like she's saying, some toes do have thicker um, cuticle on, on the nail itself, and so that is when you would want to use that yeah. prepper bit. I know you guys are using for this diabetes for preparation, mm -hmm. but you can use it also for the cuticle care either. Yeah. So also helps prep the nail for soak off gel too. Yeah, People it put is. soak off on their toes, yeah. the prep bit would be better than doing the manicure It is, bit. it is. So I'm going to using a medium now. Okay. We have been using a really low RPM because mediums are kind of strong for mm -hmm. the cuticle. So when you're using it, maybe 30,000 30, as 4,000 will be better. Yeah. Anytime I use any bits on the natural nail, I always go down to my slowest speed setting. And these are the bits. Other than these, Akupa, the mandrel with the fine sanding band, those are the only three bits I allow on the natural nail. So now you're just going around the nail to remove any of, of the cuticle that's on the toenail. Yeah. Sideways. This is a particular favorite bit of mine too because the top of the bit has grit as well as around the sides, and I can also exfoliate the surrounding skin, any dry skin at the same time. That's why we're doing this pedicure dry, because you're able to remove dead skin easier. So when you're using diabetes for the cuticle care, then um, 
good things, you can clean up really easier to side door and then corner has a lot of the callus, right? Mm. And then when you do the pedicure with uh, when you do the pedicure with um, cuticle care, mm. so just if you, if you're just using a pusher, it's it's hard to pushing away. But the diabetes makes you more easier to pushing away mm -hmm. than more clear. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love to yeah. using this. Yeah. May is using a term the Americans won't be familiar with, and I'm here to translate May. <laughs> when she says diabetes, <laughs> she's shortening the word diamond. So if you're new, if you're new to e filing, you have two types of bit: carbide and diamond. She uses diamond bit, diamond bit, which in Korea is diamond. Daya. Yeah, you Daya. Daya. Yeah. <laughs> You're shortening it. So really gently pushing the mm -hmm. cuticle. But one thing you have to be careful. Most of people, most of nail artists, when they are using a uh, Daya bit, mm -hmm. they just using like uh, the top part, like. Yeah, the edge. Ads, you can see use the, the ads, the then yeah. you can see the lines. So lots of nail artists has the problem with that. Mm -hmm. So you're not using that one. You have yeah. to use it on the top. So we call when you do that, of fire. yeah, because they put that groove in the nail. They, mm -hmm. it's common with artificial. You don't want to do that. So yeah. push the cuticle really gently. Then the don't using high RPM. It's only three as four thousand. Yep. That's click. the important. Turn the turn the passport on. Mm -hmm. Click. That's your speed. But you're using, um, May even was saying, you know, we do this head of the bit, belly or body of the bit. Mm -hmm. And then we don't call it, but what do you call the bottom? Tail. The tail. That's mm -hmm. what it was. I thought that was cute. So she's using the head of the bit against the skin, and she's using the body of the bit on the, the nail itself to remove the cuticle. Diver. Yeah, so when you do the this side is work, what I love. Like the skin down. There's so much dry skin in that side area. Work. Sue, what do you think? How does this feel? It kind of feels like a like massage. Doesn't kind of it? Yeah. It's relaxing. That's the Mie was telling me oh, yeah. last time either. If you watch any of the earlier videos, Mie, our educator, international educator at Koopa, was a model and she says the same thing. Sometimes it tickles depending on which area she's working on, but it's very, it's very nice. It's relaxing. Yeah. I've never enjoyed cuticle pushers on my toes. Mm -hmm. The skin seals down differently than it does on nails. Tex will understand this because yeah. we don't, I don't, I never like using them on people, but I feel like when you're doing this, that aggressive pushing isn't yeah, as painful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the pusher to me is painful. So when you're using e-file, you have to keep remember it's it's keep spinning. So mm. it makes gets hot, and it can be damaged on your customers. Mm. And then when you do that, the customer skins, it's more easier to damage it. Mm. So you have to be real gentle. Yeah, no pressure. Yes. Let the gravity of the bit and the handpiece mm. press down. Then um. I bring my own bit. <laughs> <laughs> I like your brush. Bit. Yeah, it's a brush. <laughs> then what I'm doing, use the dispenser. Okay. Put the alcohol on it. Alcohol. So okay. turn on the RPM like 3000. And then push the alcohol here. Ah, slow speed setting, so. Clean up. And then you're just cleaning up all the dust. That'll dehydrate the nail at the same time. And then. When you do the manicures, mm -hmm. that's great. You do the same thing when you're doing manicure? Yes. It would be a good way to remove the oil with the manicure bit. So when you're using a manicure bit, typically we use an e-file oil because otherwise the skin from the cuticle sticks to the bit. But if you're going to use soap off gel, you have to remove all that oil. I think this would be a great technique. Yeah, I know. So when you do the manicure, or he puts a lot of the, I don't know, what's the, something inside oh, on yeah. the nail. Okay. Yeah. So. Is that mean like the skin under yeah. the nail? Like on the, the nails, it's hyponychium. Hyponychium, yeah. Especially with people with Sue's curse of long nail beds. 
I bet, yeah, you typically have a lot of hydrogen. So like, when your customer is coming and they're eating a chicken that has a lot of stuff in the under nails. <laughs> so <Dirt>. like, for <laughs> example, you guys are using just wood, wood stick for clean up the under there. But yeah. if you're using just this kind of brush, yeah. it's easy to, easy to clean Good up. Idea. And it will, like will clean. Big scrub brushes yeah, and then also you using, yeah. you're using alcohol, so it's yeah. sanitizer. Yeah. So. Are you able to use that particular brush bit, May, in a disinfectant? Oh, we're using our ultrasonic machine and yeah. with, uh, with the leukocyte. Yes. Okay. So good. it's it's okay. So yes, and so for my Americans who have to do sanitize, disinfect, and sanitize her particular bed, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And, and I then you can get it, my Right, now. right now, most of the Koreans were using uh, autoclave machine, so we're using oh. that one. So that's fine. Awesome. So uh, I'm gonna do starting on toe callus care. Okay. But before using the callus care, I wanted to. I love this kit. Yeah, me Has too. everything in it. Yeah, our implement. Yeah. So, and then when I do the pedicure, I love to using this jewel file. It's great for cleaning up the sidewalls and underneath. Yeah. So yeah. This is the tech tool. Tech Tool Implement Kit. Yeah. Sarah will put a link in the chat. I'm always do the, when I'm doing my customer, I'm always checking on their side work because mm. a lot of people has the ingrowing. Ingrown. And mm -hmm. then wrong filing or wrong the cutting nails. Yeah. That's why they have a uh, lots of problem. So this one's easy to clean up, care of it. So really gently before i starting and i checked her side work and then she's got a uh, something problem with side work so like here so it goes down and then starting and checking and under there has the little bit of thingy a little bit of thingy yeah, yeah. is there it's just a little point that is it a point yeah, of yeah. nail so you that's where you, you just don't quite get that last little yeah. bit cut so that is the really most common cause of really bad ingrown toenails because you cut your toes and you don't know that one little point is there and as the toenail grows out the point goes into the skin so yep. about three years ago when i just come to america then i had a really hard thing something pointed I've pushing my before. nail then yeah. uh the lady was just cutting with the nippers and more hurting to me mm -hmm. so you guys just using the yeah, filing lifted. and then starting on all the way down and then really gently make the smoothing it's, it's not hurting anymore mm -hmm. so it, it's, the it's such a relief too when you find that one little point of the nail poking you in the skin and you cut it it's instant relief if it's bugging you i always know why it's bugging so, me so it's all gone now yeah it's more clean nice so uh, another way check next really gently filing so I love this. That's I'm using this tool. one a lot. Great tool. Yeah. Great tool. It's, it's awesome. So let's go to the Kelly's care. Okay. She's got a beautiful fit. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So um, actually she don't have one thing. Yeah, I know. It's too much clean. Okay, so this is well, where we'll apologize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May is still going to do the techniques carefully because we don't want to damage healthy skin. But I am prepared with some images here that John will share as we call them out that will help us. We're going to have a deep conversation mm -hmm. about mapping the foot, mm -hmm. right? Because most people don't think about the direction the skin grows it separates how you have to file. So mm -hmm. we have to have a very important conversation about that. What's the first bit you're using? If her foot was a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm gonna guessing her foot is really dirty, bad fit. Okay. So the lanes have the, some kind of pictures, then she's gonna start with show you guys. One, John. Yes. Cause she, you're gonna start at the toe or do you start at the heel? I'm gonna do the heel. Okay, so we're gonna start with number three. <laughs> Let's go in the, yep, it's okay. If we're gonna go with the image that shows May's before and after of a heel, mm -hmm. and that way she can explain to you. And I'm gonna help May out because I think given the fact that this isn't live, we can actually show May what you're seeing 
and allow her to discuss what some of these angles are of the skin. Can you see mm -hmm. that okay, May? Yes. Okay. So left to pictures are like kind of normal. Normal people have a yeah. lot of people. That's what you expect of, with yeah. this everyday dryness and both To me, it's really easy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that kind of heel, you guys just, maybe you guys just using dry sanding bands to just remove, keep removing. But if you keep doing that, it's more gets hot. It has a lots of dust. Yeah, I, on the heat too. That is a yeah, question that yeah. has already come through when we apologize. Mm. Somebody already wants to know how do you avoid those heat spikes. Mm. So that'll be something we're going to talk about as we move further. This bit, yeah. Um, this is the Mani Pro's Typhoon bit. Mm -hmm. But that you, was the Typhoon radius typhoon. with the, the rounded head, not the football shape. Mm -hmm. So this is Typhoon radius, and she's using coarse. Yeah, the round ones are better because you're gonna using a top part a lot. Yeah. So, but you can using also for the pedicure. This is awesome. Yeah. So, like here, guessing like a picture. Do the how can I explain? Cause I know it's funny. The what what speed would you work at for this heel number three? For that one, I'm gonna using like six thousand at seven thousand for okay. this. And then to throw a wrench in it, I have another picture which has heel splits. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about that at the same time, or do you want to talk about this first? I think the other pictures will be okay. better. So in that case, John, let's first show number four, because I want to show them what the original picture looks like. This is two heels, and both of them have different degree of deep crack in each heel. And sometimes you see multiple cracks on a heel. Mm -hmm. um, now, John, if we switch to number five, this is going to be a very detailed image that May and I previously discussed about um, mapping the foot and knowing how to file in what direction. Okay, so let's guess right side pictures. Yeah. She has the really big deep skin on over here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do the using a typhoon bit, mm -hmm. uh, skin has. We call the floppy skin. Right. Its skins are moving a lot. Yeah. Before you put on the spa, you have to using um, remove the floppy skin first. Because right. if it, your skins are wet, then um, it softens it's it and it soft moves. and you can't you can't, can't remove it. Yeah. Yeah. So doing a remover the floppy skin first. Will you explain for me? I know, <laughs> I know. So right now we're gonna work around like as if it was the split, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the picture number five and you look at the map that we've created, I wanna explain what those colors are. So green is just May's way of showing you the direction that the skin growth mm -hmm. is. And it comes in like u shape and they're layers and layers of little U-shapes. And if you look at my letter A, if you could see the skin from a side cut, it's in layers that kind of curl up a little bit and it, and it overlaps from the top of the foot at the heel down. If you look at B, she's going to be filing in an upward motion, forcing open those layers. So the layers are gonna stick up even more. So she files up, and then my blue line directional shows her filing sideways. Because she's right-handed, she'll work from right to left, and she'll knock off the layers of skin that she stood up. Please be so interested. Um, I'll show it to you too. So she's gonna knock off all of those layers that are sticking up, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be comfortable, and she's not going to get hot, because she's working in the right direction for the direction of the growth of the skin. The cracks now are a whole different story because you have to now work away from the crack to open that skin up that's loose and dead mm. and get it standing up and then come in at the other direction to cut it off. Yeah. So, uh, Eliza will explain everything for me. <laughs> Thank you. Usually and, uh, you I do. just want to show you guys the how to do that, the techniques. Yeah. So for example, has the, you can see that before you guys can see the pictures about the red part. So all the skins goes like the other way. Yeah. So lift up and cut it first. 
So doing a when you okay, lift when you up. Okay, when you to show you for the camera now, because it's hard when she's talking to get an answer. Um, just whatever you're showing on the foot, show this camera, so yeah. we can see the bottom of okay. it. Okay, so he's making sure that camera can see that. That's all. Okay, so now what were you saying? Continue. Mm, we're gonna say lift up and cut it. Yeah. Uh, but so this is how she's gonna hold the handpiece. We're working at what speed do you think, May? Um, normally six thousand and seven thousand. You have to using it. Yeah. And when you make a uh, lift up to fluffy skin, use the body. Yeah. Okay. So we already established top is head, side is body, yeah. bottom is tail. So yeah. she's gonna be using the so, body. So when you wake up, use the body. Yeah. And it's like she's filing against the grain. For anybody who's ever worked with wood, she's filing against the grain, not with the grain. She wants to open up the skin. Yeah, open up the skin, but when you cut it, use the tip. Yep. And then talk, 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 talk. I love your, this is a May invented word. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Yeah. And that's just, she's cutting, now she's opened the skin, you know, it's like they were all laying down and now they're all up and you're cutting them off. Yeah, even the open the skin, you can't do it like the same time, same place, over five five times. Right. So I'm always doing, I'm, I'm counting in my You're mind. Moving. One, two, three, four, five. Then, tok, 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 tok. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Tok, 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 tok. And not staying so in it's the same place is yeah. how you prevent heat. Yeah. Because we're working dry, no lubricant, no water, no oil. Exactly. It's just being mindful of where you're going and mapping the foot. And then your left hands have to holding the skin makes uh, the tight, tight skin. Because yeah. some people just left hands under here, <laughs> just doing like this. Yeah, no. yeah but not you like that. You need to hold that foot in place. Yeah, we're using a machine. Exactly, your yeah. way. And I want to say, push up, talk, 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 talk. I'm the type Body. of customer who hates talk, 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 foot talk, talk, files. Because when you're foot filing with a big old paddle, you're hitting so many more areas of the foot. I squirm through the whole thing. I can stand this. Just little areas at a time. And then you don't you don't have to pushing hard skin. No. You don't have to do Light that. Pressure. Just like really easier moving. Yeah. This isn't an artificial nail. This is skin. We want to just open up the layers and then gently cut, cut them. Yeah. Right. She's right using now. a carbide yes, core I was on the bottom of her foot. <laughs> I was worried about the 30s carbide on my skin. The first like, time she did this, I want you to know, when she showed me the bits she was using, my inner nail tech was like, are you kidding me? I know, but it's surprising. But yeah, so this, this feels very light. It depends light. on how, what kind, how high RPM you're using it. Yeah. So this is kind of smooth now. Yeah. yeah. Using a good machine with Torque means you don't have to work at a high RPM and it get is. hot. That torque is going to keep spinning as she's touching the foot, and so she doesn't have to work at high speed. Mm -hmm. And I also want to point out that May doesn't just do the bottom of the foot and the edge of the heel, but you go a little bit up the side. Yeah, um, so you're going to go even further. Here. So you're going into now the top of the foot. Let's show. Um, show. Let's show one, John. And we'll show the upper foot because these are more challenging than the arch of the foot. Here. Yeah. So, so the side of the toe. So when I'm doing the ball of right the left foot. hands open, make yeah. a make a. I forget the word. The strong. Uh, Hold a tighten it tight. It, tight. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Got it. And uh, use so the this, body. Um, we're gonna try and get it with the side camera because the top camera can't see what you're doing. There we go. Body. Aaron's Aaron making it better for everybody. Head. Yeah. Body. Head. The focus is very bad. Okay. There you go. Tightness. Use the body. Cut it. I told you guys this is going to be tough to film because feet are in all angles. Yeah. It's a tough one. We knew that filming this today, you guys are going to probably see Aaron on the camera. <laughs> you might see other cameras and lighting because it's so difficult to get all angles of the foot, but it's important. Uh, let me ask something about pedicure with you, Sue. So you said before we starting, you told me you're, gonna, you're using dry care, right? But 
when you do the dry care, you're just using sanding band, right? Yeah, I use our the Kubo pedicure bit actually. I, that's pretty much like the only one that I do. But both both of them, if you're using a dry care, mm -hmm. it has a lot of dust yeah, going, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But tornadoes is not. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. She, this is a she would never in a million years have thought to use yeah. a course oh, yeah. car bike because I didn't either. Yeah. yeah, it does. There's a lot less dust. No, and if you notice true. too, May is kind enough to not be wearing her mask because she's talking for the camera. Yeah. But but it wouldn't be possible if that bit was really flinging, right. you know, dust at the face. You'd I'm be gonna, wearing I'm that gonna, mask. Where's my mask? Right, right. No. So, but yeah, and as you can see, May is constantly changing the direction that your hand piece is working because you're looking at the direction the skin grows. It's like a tree, it's like the rings on tree or on wood. It all grows in different directions, so you have to change. Is it that picture is gonna show the same time with my hands and the picture? If we call it out, John will put it up. Okay. And then he goes back to you. Do you okay. want him to show this again so you can make a comment? Mm -hmm. So John, let's put number one back up. And what did you want to tell the viewers about that? So when you saw the left pictures, mm -hmm. the skin goes up. Mm -hmm. So you have to remove all the callus mm. up and make it down. Right, because it's growing up now. Yeah. The layers down are folded up. And cut. Yeah. So it's all the same. Tok, tok, tok. It cuts tuk, always tuk, the tuk. same direction because we're right-handed and the bit is going in a direction. You can't cut the other direction, you're just going to drive the bit. It's not going to file the bit because we're right handed or left handed. Yeah. Okay. So that's easy to remember. It's just always watching what direction mm -hmm. the skin grows. Then after that. Can I show them also, May? We should show them number two, which is the arch. Oh, arch. Not arch now. Two. Yeah, right? Because it can be like bit number two. Yeah, because arch shears, people are sensitive. Okay. So you don't want to touch the now. Bad so after that. spa, you touched. Yeah. So okay. after that, you put on the spa. So how long now will your customer soak in the spa? Uh, to me, depend on what kind of skins my customers have. Let's say it's like the ones in the pictures, because that's generally what we see in the salon. Like a number four? Yeah. Looks like really strong and dry skin. Somebody with the split heels. Yes. I'm doing it over 10, 10 You're minutes. Soaking them alone. And then like, like that kind of skin, I'm using baking powder. Okay. For like a two scoops. It's more, it's like natural. Baking powder helps to soften the skin? Soften the skin and nature. Oh. Really, it's not chemical. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to ask only because I honestly don't know because I am not good with the powder and soda. Baking powder or baking soda? Baking powder. Okay, so the, the one that does not fizz. No. Because <laughs> I don't cook and I don't, I honestly, I don't even know the what? difference. You got, if you guys go doesn't. to the Google it, what baking, baking powder, powder works yeah, to skin, different. when you, baking powders, your strong callus makes more softer. And it's not that mysterious. Way more skin. natural, no acid. It, it is. I like this. So I'm using a baking okay. powder. <laughs> so if somebody has as nice a feet as little gorgeous do here, how long would you soak that customer? Normally five minutes, but I'm asking my customer, oh, you like it? And oh, you can okay. do that five minutes like more. more? <laughs> this is <laughs> not, all my customers love it right. doing a pedicure, you know, the, doing a spa. They yeah. love it, relaxing. Okay. Then what I'm doing, I put the uh, aroma oils in the spa. Beautiful. And then normally I, the spa would be running too. We're not <coughs> running it because we don't want you guys to have the drought, the humming mm -hmm. of this running and not be able to hear us. Talk. Like uh, summer times, mm -hmm. people keep thinking I'm am I stinky or not? So I'm using lemon, real lemons, yeah. and put the uh, lemons on the, their toes. Good idea. And then put it together. Are you using lemons to separate the toes? Or are you putting the lemons actually on the toes? I, I put the, on the skin, oh sand, and put it in the spa. Oh and then winter Working times, so people love to having a uh, relaxing and the warm. So yeah. I make the little bit hot water mm -hmm. and then put the aroma oils in it and makes my customers comfortable. So See why it's the best pedicure ever? People are going to be booking a ticket to Korea. <laughs> 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 so it's always different type of 
the pedicures we're doing, so uh, then my customers are not bored. Okay. They always excited. And what you gonna do for me yeah, next what time? Yeah, what flavor am I gonna get <laughs> yeah. today? I would be. I have uh, like twelve different smells of aroma oil. Awesome. Then I uh, ask them to what kind of things do you want, and then they need it. Now you can do the Koopa pedicure. May created as a gift when she showed up a uh, fragrant oil that she had made at the laboratory of a signature fragrance that you have called the I Love Koopa though, right? You called it I Love Koopa. Mm -hmm. So as a gift, she gave each one of us and it smells so good. That would make a good pedicure. I know all you guys not to using much. When you guys do an electronic file with a pedicure, I know it's just the people using a dry dry yeah. pedicure yeah. but the water with a pedicure is more easier and it's not gets hot and make customers uh, mm -hmm. comfortable the water then, acts like the lubricant yeah so number four like mm -hmm. lots of ploppy skins yeah. water is not good so okay. people you have to do that you have to get all that floppy yeah. skin off yeah but mm -hmm. For example, if you're wearing high heels a lot, or some customer has uh, wearing shoes a lot, then they have a lot of the big callus, the yellow thingy, you know. Totally know what you're talking about. That uh, mm -hmm. you better put in the yeah, spas. Yeah. It's more easy. And I will say this. I know, especially for athletes, for anybody who's new, you have to be smart about leaving some of the callus because if they work on their feet all day like a waitress, that callus builds up because it's protecting them. So you don't want to completely remove it or they're going to be irritated when they go back to work or if they're an athlete. This, this is where May <laughs> changes the angle so she can... Oh! oh I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, it's okay. Leave them out. Here. I'm glad to... This is not a lie. <laughs> I know, right? There we go. The other one didn't get it so bad. Is that going to be high enough for you, May? We can grab two. Erin's going to grab. Do you want just another pad? We could do two pads, May. Pad would be better. Let's do two red pads. We'll stack the red pads. I have to say, this is the first time I've ever seen this technique. That, and I didn't even know that's what these were for. I thought they were big armrests. But May raises the angle of the leg so that the foot is where May can see the foot so that she can get in every area. I feel like we don't do this often enough, or I wasn't taught this, were you? It's more ergonomic for her. It so is. She's not like bending her. Yeah. So, yeah. start? Yeah, all yours. So after spa, I'm gonna using a, a skin remover, it's, which is, you guys, callus remover. We call them callus remover, yeah. yeah. So why I'm using a callus remover is more easier and more faster. Okay. Because my salon has a lot of the army customer, and then they are always, I, I don't have time, I don't have time. They want it to faster, but really good. Yeah. So we have to using this. Okay. So waiting about three minutes after I'm gonna start. Okay. So that's gonna soften the skin. And the next bit we're gonna be using. And the next bit, we're gonna be using a dia bit. I love it. <laughs> That's the it. Koopa pedicure diamond bit. So, like this kind of diabet, before dry skin you're using, people are feeling like, oh, it's something bothering me. It's not comfortable at all. But with the water, yeah, it's best. I agree. I agree. It's more now, comfortable. Carbides shave technically, and diamond bits grind. So. You're, what you're saying makes sense because you're grinding. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more heat if you don't have something to help counteract mm -hmm. the heat. And that foot is like a sponge. It's been soaking in the pedicure water. And so it's soaked up some moisture. And that moisture is going to help act as a lubricant. It is. Then I'm going to be using about seven to 8,000. But sometimes if your customer has a big fit, then you're, you can use it more higher. Or if your customer has the really bad callus, then you can use it like a, well, 10,000 as 12,000. Depend, depend on skin types. The moisture is gonna keep down the dust mm -hmm. too. Yes, it is. Well. And um, I'm gonna use a kind of different technique because before we, what we do is up and down and then remover. But this time, we're gonna use a whole fit for one time. 
But if you keep doing like up, down, up, down, it takes too much time. So I'm gonna do doing just like tornado, like rolling, rolling technique. Yeah, circles. So at the first time, doing it really gently at the top part of toenail. So it's like basically she's exfoliating at this point. Then after that, doing and just a rolling. This technique too, where you push the toes back, gets the skin nice and tight, tickles, huh? <laughs> that is that is the paddle. <laughs> so you was paddle. you was asking me for arts, right? In yeah. Like so that would be picture number two. I don't mm -hmm. even have to look anymore. Picture number two is basically very thin skin, mm -hmm. and it's not skin that gets calluses or big cracks. It's mostly then just needs to be exfoliated. Then you can. Oh. That's where I get the most ticklish mm -hmm. with the arch. So circle, circle, circle. Then you can see all the calluses. She she had a really beautiful skin, but still has a callus. She found some dry <laughs> skin in there. <laughs> That's what I think about the ifa. Like you think you've got good feet. Oh, you wait. Mm -hmm. You just wait. So when you. When you holding your handpiece, mm -hmm. normally people know look like uh, holding like a pencil, but you can doing holding yeah. like. Uh, In America, that would be like a potato peeler or an apple peeler. Potato, yeah, we call the apple peeler. Yeah, yeah, it's like an apple peeler. Yeah, on the heel, if you grip with like a pencil, you have to down. Yeah, all the way a ergonomic, er ergonomics for your body, your neck, and your shoulders. Yeah, not but you not, you don't want to do that. So holding like an apple peel, Very good. peeler, mm -hmm. then just yeah. easy. Look. That's a good And then tip. don't yeah. go so close. No, oh my god, that's oh, good. It's not that's good. That's going to be bouncing off but your face. Of course, when I'm doing in my shop, I have my mask mm -hmm. and I have my, my you hair. You have a clear visor. Yeah, clear visors. Then it's not going to come into my eyes or my mouth. Oh my but god. I don't have now. But I, I, Every nail tech I know that's ever done a pedicure has gotten something bounced off their so face. So I, I have mouth. I have a four uh, walkers in my shop. They're always doing like this. Yeah. It's all the calluses goes their hair. Oh, I was like, guys, oh, don't do that, please. <laughs> Just you don't have to go in clothes. You can yeah. see everything. Yeah. So go far. And if you can't get the right kind of glasses, so you can stay away. Mm -hmm. You know. Go down. You're getting some good. There's some dry skin coming oh, off. Yeah, it's been like two weeks. <laughs> you can't. She hasn't even gotten to polish yet. The next bit to me is like, ooh, beautiful. Shoot. Sure. Still get it. Mm -hmm. So while you're still doing this, May, from start to finish, let's say her feet were as bad as number four, because that's pretty standard in our mm -hmm. salon. Still. Start to finish, how long does your pedicure take? For uh, about finish? number four, yeah, about an hour. An hour. Yes. So an hour is a good amount of time. Yeah, about her, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, right. I know, right? Hers is just so, a, she's like a customer who comes often and yeah. keeps it up. So well, I feel so bad to her, like when she coming 20 minutes with her husband is one hour, then what I I'm going to do is more massage. I was just going to yeah. say, more massage. <laughs> yeah, to make her... Me, I, if anybody gives me more massage, I'm not saying quit. Well, sure, she will love it. <laughs> I'm like, please okay. stop in like an hour. <laughs> Pedicure foot massage to me is the best part. Everything else is just bonus. Then the next I'm going to use for a scrub. Okay. So now you're just scrubbing off all that mm -hmm. dead skin. You just grind it up. When you're using the e file, I never touch the right my right hand any oils or scrubs because you have to holding your hand piece. Good I'm point. just using my left hand. This is such a good point. I'd be that person that would just be <laughs> and go, oh no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. Very smart, very smart. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say, if you do make that mistake, I would take that glove off and replace the glove. That's the easiest way. What's in the squirt bottle, May? It's just the water. Okay. So this, you're rinsing this, the scrub off. Mm, this made out with um, this scrub made out with a salt. Uh -huh. So, so you're removing the scrub. Yeah. And um, even use the scrub. I'm gonna yeah. using a sanding band. Yeah. And uh, this is my favorite. This is what makes for me this pedicure long lasting. 
RPM is going to be uh, 3S 5000, depending on your yeah. customer's skin type. So turning it on and just a little more. Just go all the way, like same as tornado. Yeah. So if you were doing an artificial set of nails, like acrylic, and you want a high shine, mm -hmm. you don't have a bottle of gel polish. The old school way was we started with 180 grit, we went to 220 or 240, we went to sanding block, and then we went to high shiner. It is. When most pedicure systems do their service, they use that foot file, and it's a... I'm going to say maybe 80 grit and then they finish with 180 grit and then it's over. So if you could look at the foot under a microscope, they've left the, the foot rough, you know? So when May does this technique, she's polishing the foot. It's like the high shiner. Mm -hmm. She's closing the layers of the skin. And I see the difference in the pedicure lasting longer. Like, you don't get those calluses and those splits and the loose skin as easily and quickly back because she's closing the skin tight. It's high shining, it's smooth. Yeah. It's not rough and open. Like this is the sanding part. Like yeah. uh, the first one was 100 grit. Yeah. Second was 180 grit. So this time yeah, are sanding like, then still I needed to shining part. Yeah, and this is the fine sanding band. Yes. Very fine. So. This is closing everything up. This to me makes the foot look like a baby's feet. So any dusty? This and the I peoples know. are really comfortable. Yeah. Just to cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, after that, this bit, I'm not draw. Just Cause that keep it for that one for. Has. I'm gonna using after shining. Yeah. So, wash. Wash the customer fit. Yeah. Rinse off all that scrub. Yeah. Mm. Right? Can you feel the difference? Yeah. It's amazing how you don't have to touch your foot to feel the difference. You merely have to put your foot down. It's cool, huh? So all my customer always told me uh, when I'm going to my bowling nail, that feels like I'm not doing a pedicure. I feel like I'm uh, healing my yeah. life. Yeah. So that's what I want to do that, people. I think it's a service that, this is a luxury as well as a necessity now. Mm. You know, there was, an, there was a time not so long ago, people didn't go get pedicures. They thought, oh, you know, my dry feet are fine. But now people realize how important healthy feet are to your total health. Mm. You know, if you have diabetes and you get it cut, you can end up with amputation. Mm. There's so many things that can go wrong with feet and taking care of them should be a priority. And um, last, you using a oil, just no more oil, but don't using a cuticle oil because cuticle oil is not goes into the skin. No. So like body oil is fine. Yeah. So use the oil. This is the finishing, shining part. Yeah, this is the shining. Just a little. You evolved your yeah. oil. You evolved. You used to do this with water. You've evolved. <laughs> now I've done it for so long, so many times. I like the oil. And then same technique. Yeah. Until when oil's gone. Okay. So just so no more spray your hand and no. touch, touch, touch. You've kind of made it easier by doing the oil. All right. Uh, people ask me why new using oils for pedicure. Because everything's gone, all the the bad skin's gone, but still has a little bitty tiny uh, skin leave there. Yeah. If you put the oil on your skins and then use the file, that's easy to remove. Yeah, easy to remove and does it hydration at the same time. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's the good part. This too, she goes everywhere. Yeah, when May had this done the first time, she, she'll she see she goes in between toes and up, oh. the, up the ankle bone. I never even thought about yeah, that. I know. But those are dry areas. If you think about around the ankle bone and the skin between the heel and the ankle bone, there's a lot of dry skin there. It feels nice, huh? So have you felt any heat? So, no, so no. 
what's that called? That's ankle key. bone. That's what I was just talking about, the so, ankle bone. For um, some, we was, people got a lot of callus in this area, even though... Mm -hmm. If you wear ankle boots or high boots, that, yeah, that it ankle is. Then, touches. Yeah, my customer always asks me, how, how can you remove here? So I, I put the oils, and they're doing a really gently remover yeah. here. Easy. Nice. And here. Never, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. The first time I saw this pedicure with me, I said, if any technician does this, service from start to finish in this area, they would be the number one pedicure person. California feet are special. <laughs> when I moved from Maine to California, and the first pedicure I ever gave, the woman thought I was crazy because I was so gentle. I did barely anything, but the feet here from the heat and the flip flops, they need a lot more work than my customers in Maine did. They were wearing socks and shoes. so. Oh, I had to get re-educated on how to do a California pedicure. But doing this and, and polishing the foot to me, I know every woman here would just be in heaven. It's a good technique. You're not ticklish anymore. Apparently not. <laughs> I think, I find that over time, I think my foot gets used to it and yeah. I calm down. Not the foot paddle, but everything else. Like the, when they paddle, my foot gets used. So you just increase the speed a little. How come? Um, I feel like too low, so. <laughs> it was, okay. It was just an instinct. When you use an e-file long enough on any service, you know when you need to increase your speed or decrease it. You just like feel it, you know? Like yeah. You, know. you can feel the way the torque grabs differently. Yeah. Sometimes when it's low and you're getting too much torque, you want to back off. Yeah. When, the speed when my walkers, when they're working, then yeah. I'm just walking. And then, hey, you got too high. You hey, you got it. too low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just can hear sounds. You can totally hear it. I can hear it when somebody's pressing down and applying pressure, and they shouldn't be. When I'm doing a class, I'm just like, hey, your your e-files are sick. <laughs> Love it. Like that. She's so funny. So like, if it's only 20 minute take, mm -hmm. I'm spending time more this part. Yeah. So the, even though, how, what is this here called? Top of the foot. The top of the yeah, foot. we just did the top yes, of the I foot. Make the smoothing yeah. like this. Wow. And that skin is thin. It's like the top of your hand. You know, you have to be extra careful there. So that's and then lots of it. ladies has the high heel has oh, yeah, here yeah, heel it. Yeah. Pink toe. Yeah. 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 Smoothing. <laughs> like that with the little knuckles. Under. And um, the is this the point where you would do a massage, or at what point do you do the massage in your pedicure? After this, yeah. I'm doing a massage. That's where you do all your hydration. Yeah. Well, before I'm doing, I'm using a uh, put. Ah. Uh, uh, what's that I wondered called? if you put one of these out. Put pack. Oh, using yeah. to my customer. Yeah, this so, is so popular in Korea. Yeah, I went to Korea and visited May um, last month. Or yeah, yeah, like yeah, October. Oh my God, feels like a lifetime ago. And May took me shopping at skincare, and I came home with a huge bag of masks. I have been, like eye masks, face masks. I have foot mask, hand mask. And they're so popular. I love so, them. If your client, customer needed to do uh, gel or doing a polish. If they do like a soak off gel yeah. or polish. Oh, you're going to cut the toes out. <laughs> I'm just Get out. That's such a great idea. I want to just join to you guys the how I'm doing to I'm my customer. I'm glad you're doing this. I this is really good helpful. service to your customer. So hold it up for the camera behind you. So she's cut the toe off. So you're going to have the toes peeking out so you can keep working. That's awesome. You guys have a lot of the this kind of... We do now, of yeah. On the foot and the hand ones, we're starting to see more and more of them. 
I could open when you were in gloves. You want uh, anything you want me to do it for you? There you go. So done. It's okay. Yeah. This is a challenge for me in the beginning in the 90s. We didn't wear the gloves and now everybody's wearing gloves and masks all the time. And it was the hardest thing for me to oh. adjust. When you put you put the uh, mask, we'll open it and don't touch the Don't touch tongue. the toenail. Yeah, so you don't get it on. I'm doing this. Colors. Then you can work on the polish. Or even if she's not doing anything about polish or gel, I'm going to yeah. leave it like 10 minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great idea. It's for you, Steve. So <laughs> when you do the, the foot mask, <laughs> I almost <laughs> called it a bag. When you do the foot mask, um, is that after the massage? After the massage. Yeah, yeah. And then Because you can't be doing the polish on the toes and then massaging, I'm thinking. The, it wasn't so the important out. thing. After when you do the pedicure, it's all dead skin's gone. So if you not put on enough the um, like skin, if you not put enough the like the moisture, yeah, moisture, okay. then uh, okay. it more gets dry and in, yes. in later it's worse. So okay. after pedicure, you need to put enough the moisturizer. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's why we're doing this. Then yeah. I'm always yeah. telling my customer, when you go back to home, put the moisturizer and put on the socks, then yeah. sleep. That's better. Because think about it. When you wash your hands, scraping your face, are you just asleep? Right. No, you put a lot of stuff on your face. for. Yeah. So your feet are important to you. They are. Mm. Feet and hands especially. I'm very particular about keeping the tops of my hands with mm. sunblock mm. because as we age, those are the areas that show mm you know, sun damage and age the most. Mm -hmm. My entire life, I've always put sunblock. I knock on wood, no age spots yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am nothing. Yeah, people yeah. Are, when Even people when I'm driving, my hands, I, I admit it, I keep them down here. <laughs> I'm not up where the sun is. Yeah, when people come in, I don't know why my hands are so dry, why my feet are yeah. so hard. Because you not care of it. Yeah. Yeah. So after, care. after pedicure, put in enough the moisturizer. Yeah. That help you. So I'm curious, May. At this point, in Korea, do you use the standard toe separators, or do you do something special? Do you guys do anything different in Korea when you separate um, the toes? Um, uh, kind of depends. If you, my customer has a problem skin, then I'm using. Separate toe separate. Like the ones yeah. I just do yeah, individual yeah. toes. Yeah, the yeah, in the individual, like the and then just throw out. I like the little ones because I find sometimes you don't really have to separate the big toe and the second toe. It's just the last three. You could use one of those. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I like for Sue. She's got clean skin. Yeah. Then I'm using uh, her own. I have kit for all each customers. Oh, that's nice. If my customer doesn't have their own kit, I'm not doing a pedicure. So mm -hmm. I'm always said, you need your own kit. You not share your toothbrush with your no. your friends. No. So if you're using same pet kit, share with your friend, it's the same as toothbrush is using together. Yeah. So I do want to warn, just because we're in a country where they use state law, please read your state law. Because I know some states in America won't even let you keep a kit mm -hmm. with disposables because their reasoning for us is if I have a condition and I use it and then my tech stores it and I, and I come back and I healed up, I could get that condition back if it's something catchy. Oh. Now. So in America, some states don't let us do oh, the, we the have, storage We kit. have the same issues before. Yeah. That's why... When we using the filing, mm -hmm. we just um, using metal file. Yeah. Can using the authorized Can machine. Then and um, file, and just the one time file. Take it yeah. off and throw Far away, away and then put it back. So just the one time. Um, yeah. And then toe separate, like I said, problem skins. I'm mm -hmm. just uh, using one time. The others uh, has to uh, make the jellies, so you can usable washed, sanitizer, yeah. so kind in of Korea, one time. do you guys have a governing body that licenses and checks on you? Or is this May knowing the, the standard practice like we do here, and you, you are implementing it and teaching it to the educators, 
Or is it like in America where the government catches us? We, uh, we have a government lower, but not like hard as America. Yeah. But I have lots of army customers, then I saw a lot of people has the problem. Yeah. Then I'm always worried about the dispact, dis yeah. impacted to other people. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. When I you keep pass yeah yeah I'm yeah. impatient yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. I'm always thinking how I can block it right. everything so that's why because it's pretty common too when you're in like the army situation wearing boots sharing showers mm -hmm. you know it's easy to get a uh, fungus on your feet or you know warts and stuff that are on the floor of the shower and so if you do you have a customer who has that you can transfer it to another customer mm -hmm. so yeah. i'm always saying to them you're not sure with toothbrush right yeah so then they like all right i'm not yeah yeah may do you have any other tips tricks or suggestions you would want to add to um, this for our viewers that maybe you, you haven't thought of or it could be for pretty, it could be for luxury, it could be for service. I uh, can like a massage. Okay. And though I know you guys are love to massage. Yes. Uh, what I'm doing? Have you heard about lymph? Like uh, you like make nodes, like lymph. Yeah, lymph. All the all the sections has a lymph. Then uh, it makes your body relaxing. Wow. So I just can tell you guys that where is the limp on the foot. Okay. So it's like replay. It sounds like but for us it's on the bottom. Uh about feet. Yeah. Has a lot of limp. Okay. But before I'm doing my customer, sorry it's my okay. <laughs> I'm, when I'm doing massage I'm not using my the You the, usually the, wear gloves for yeah. the massage too. No, I'm not using them. You them. don't? Yeah. Okay. I it's, feel like I don't want to either. <laughs> yeah. I don't do pedicures. I anymore. just wanna show you guys. Okay. Before put the spa I'm always just a little bit pushed, okay. a limp. I feel like then it, I'm more people that have L Y M P H. It is like okay. So in our bodies, we have limps and nodes here, and here. these are important because they're like freeways of our body. If you want to think about it that way, and they're all connected. Mm. It is. Yeah. So okay. So here you know where they are. Yeah, baby, baby toe. Yeah. On here. So yeah. it's just gently, you don't have to keep push. No. Like hard push, just You're like going really pretty gently, gently tight. Yeah. And left here. Okay. Oh. That's a favorite spot of mine. Here. I love my heel. Right. Here. So four? Mm. And that's it for yeah. the limps? Yeah, off, I'm just a feet. little push, like 10 seconds, uh -huh. then put in spa. It's more relaxing. Oh. That's what I'm doing like to my that. customer. So that's an added service that mm. you're doing mm. that nobody here. You do it here. <laughs> and, um, I don't know that anybody California here California not really having a uh, uh, winter time, right? No. But well, we call it winter. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. Okay, <laughs> this is the winter, right? Maybe <laughs> <baby> winter. <laughs> so we have a four different season. Yeah. So four different season. I have all different teas for my customer. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, can we wrap up the computer thing is weird now and everything is cool. Okay, we can wrap up. All right. Well, I want to thank you so very much for coming for thank another you. third time <laughs> to show this pedicure. I think it's amazing and you're so talented and incredible. Any times and then I want to come back and then doing it again. Always. May I think you should share your website and your social media information in case any of the technicians would like to follow. Okay. Hello, I'm from uh, My Bling Nail. I'm a distributor in Kupak. Uh, my website is www.myblingnail.com. Uh, we have a lots of idea product in, in Korea, so just come visiting. Mm -hmm. And then, should I say my Instagram? Of course. Oh, my Instagrams are uh, My Bling Boss and Dash Kupa. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Instagram. I love it. Yo, we'll see you later again. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. I'm really sorry about all of the technical issues that you had to deal with. Please continue to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and, and Twitter 
at Koopa Inc. And then if you want to follow us on Instagram, we're at Koopa underscore TV. Until next week, next Wednesday, our last live broadcast, God willing, before um, the holidays. Uh, tune in next Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.